the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of one piece so last episode we saw a little flashbacky of uh princess vivi okay king cobra that's a cool ass name king cobra damn um but he's not when it when i hear the name king cobra i think of like menacing you know stinging poisonous menace you know just bad thing but king cobra is actually a pretty nice guy he's willing to give up some of his money some of his riches to make sure the people are okay a true king the one true king um so yeah we saw that uh we saw koza who i'm pretty sure we've met very briefly in one episode before with chopper could be wrong um who's probably going to be the leader of the rebel army if i were to guess he was the leader of the kid army back then with vivi vivi, vivi chan in in the mix uh so if i were to guess hey he's le he's the leader right now and all those kids that we saw in the flashback are probably now a part of the rebel army uh and they're chilling at yuba which is which is a, a king which is um a village a city that the king apparently had help in building you know <clears throat> so with that fact alone makes me think that the that, that the rebel army is probably going to be on the king's side if anything right uh, um because they would know that the king would never stoop down stoop as low as to use dance powder so i feel like they would know uh, that the king is actually a cool peoples and that dance powder was actually not his idea, right? Hopefully, I think. Hopefully, that that is how the rebel army is thinking, right? Um, but in any case, uh, we're headed to Yuba right now. We're going to go meet Koza, if he's still there, with his dad, if he's still there, with the rebel army, if they're still there, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully get him, get him on our side because we're going to need soldiers to fight against the millions and billions army soldiers of the Baroque Works you know, whenever that fucking battle is going to happen, you know, while, of course, our, our our main crew is fighting Mr. Zero, Miss All Sunday, Mr. One, Mr. Two and all those people. Right. So in any case, that's where we are in the story. So without further ado, let's get into it, baby. We are on One Piece episode 101, 101 past the 100, 100 mark episode. Let's fucking go. Congrats to me. We're already past the 100 mark. And um, <clears throat> honestly, so far, so good. This show is definitely living up to its legendary status, at least for me. I love the backstories. I love the characters. I love the world building. The world building is fucking insane. Definitely, like, even though I'm only 100, 100 episodes in, I can already tell, um, just from comparing it to other animes who try to world build, this world building is fucking crazy. Because they're, because, uh, it's like, um, it's like a combination of being very simple, but also being very vast. And that's a pretty hard thing to accomplish, you know, but they're doing it pretty well. I know East Blue, South Blue, uh, North Blue, West Blue, right? Grand Line, you know, Island, Seven Paths, Grand, uh, Log Pose, all that type of shit. You know, I'm actually understanding. So very well done in the world building. And it makes me just that even more excited to reach Raftel, the final island in Grand Line, which is probably going to take, oh, if I already guessed, a thousand episodes. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, that's where we are. One Piece. Um, before we get started, first, if you're not a member of the channel, members get early access to these One Piece reactions, and I'm like, I'm like 40 or 50 episodes ahead, um, by now, so if you wanna watch those, click that, uh, join button down below to become a member, okay? And of course, if you want the full versions of these reactions instead, the full reactions, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description, you can find the reactions of all the episodes that I, all the episodes that I watch over there, the full version of it. All right, so you'll, you'll definitely be getting your money's worth for being a member or a patron. Okay. Um, <clears throat> other than that, like, comment, subscribe, algorithm shit, and of course, join the Discord if you guys haven't already. With that being said, One Piece episode one on one. Let's get it. Okay. This random ass dude has some beef with Luffy's big bro. Also, I just realized, you know, rolling with rolling with Ace is cool and all, but I feel like he should hide that white beard tattoo on his back. Uh, it seems like the white beard pirates are pretty fucking infamous. So, you know, we're, we're trying to keep it low profile. <laughs> so if you could wear your, if you could wear like a, like a jacket or something while, while he's, you know, hanging with us, that'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I guess 
世界の海賊が恐怖するその英子さんが本気で追ってるんだから黒ひげっていう海賊も相当なやつなんでしょうね I wonder how much Ace's bounty is. They already mentioned it. Can they tell me, please? Is it over 100 mil? I wouldn't be surprised if it is. He's strong as hell. What? <laughs> <laughs> That uh, looked and sounded like kids. Yeah, this kid's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Who is that? Is that their dad? He's clearly in the same vicinity. Why haven't they been able to find him? <laughs> Maybe they got lost recently. The fuck? <laughs> Wait, so that little thing can blow up half of Alabasta? Um, why does he have that? Yeah, that's dangerous. Also, that's gotta be used for something later. Like blowing up the Baroque Works fleet? Can we use it for that? Shit. <laughs> What? <clears throat> oh shit. Am I underestimating this dude? He beat Blackbeard, a subordinate of the Whitebeard Pirate Second Division Captain Ace. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm definitely underestimating him, my bad. Maybe this Blackbeard guy isn't like strong at all. Maybe he just has an imposing aura. And that's why King Wapo dipped. Could be just that, you know? I've definitely seen that before in anime where they build up some guy to be super strong and he's not <clears throat> King One Punch Man. Scorpion! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, this feels like a half filler episode because I highly doubt the scorpion guy and his two kids have anything to do with the main story. But, you know, it's okay. Maybe it does. We'll see. Okay, netball. Boom, boom. Oh, he just... What the fuck? How did he reverse it on him so fast? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Ace is just... Ace is nice. <laughs> the little bird is killing me. Okay. Oh, wait. That's... That's that's a, fi that's a fire counter. Okay. Oof. Damn. Hey, honestly, shit, good try, though. Ace was forced to dodge his attacks because that was a fire counter attack. Extinguisher, right? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of obvious. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are their names? Dip and Chip? You couldn't have... <laughs> you could have done better than that, man. What the fuck? The last Chip 
I heard of was Chip Skylark from fucking Verily Odd Parents. <laughs> I see. That's why he's hunting Ace. To do what fathers all across the world are trying to do. Make their kids proud. Impress their kids. So that's why. I get it. <laughs> hey man he said that fucking bomb would explode half of alabasta so should he shouldn't he not fire it with his kids in the same area <laughs> um <clears throat> oh shit save him please Thank God Ace is there. Did he just blow away a, a fucking huge boulder with his fire? He just blew it away? God damn. I want to see a real fight with Ace, dude. No, Ace is leaving. Damn it. <clears throat> I guess it's for the best, though. He, he finished his mission here. And him hanging with us would, would only raise suspicion, too. You know, we're trying to keep a low profile. But he gave Luffy a piece of paper that said they could meet whenever he... What? Is that a magical fucking piece of paper? Like Dorothy's red shoes or some shit? What the hell? Okay. So, that episode kind of felt like a filler. Like I said, it was half filler, but... The point of that episode was was to send Ace off. It was to say goodbye to Ace for now. Um, and that honestly makes sense because now that I think about it, if Ace was supposed to help us here in Alabasta, that would make things too easy. Because he's clearly much stronger than Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji in them. Right? So the fact that he's leaving makes sense. So now it's actually going to be a challenge. Because if he stayed with us, then, um, yeah, it might have been a little too easy. I don't know. I, that's what I'm thinking in my head, right? So, yeah, this episode was meant um, to, yeah, to, to send Ace off. Not because the Scorpion guy and his kids are a main, you know, thing in the fucking plot, you know. Um, they, 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 those characters were created to send Ace off, which is good. You know, I like how, honestly... Even though this episode was kind of filler-ish, I do like how they're willing to spend a whole episode on make on have it make sense for Ace to leave, right? He didn't just leave just on some random shit. He left because um, his mission in Alabasta was to find Blackbeard, right? And he got he got word of a guy that was able to take down Blackbeard. Uh, so he went here because of that. He met the guy and it was a lie. So now he's out, right? It, it makes total sense as to why Ace was here and as to why he is leaving. So I, I do appreciate how they're willing to, to spend a whole episode on that and have it make sense. They even made a whole random backstory on this, on this scorpion guy when they really didn't need to, right? He was a dad trying to impress his kids, uh, you know, grabbing back his dream that they had before he had the kids and he actually didn't do too bad. Right? He was a bounty hunter. He, he even made specific weapons in order to beat Ace. Right? Didn't do it, obviously, because Ace is super strong. But, you know, I appreciate the... Uh, I respect the try. I respect the effort. Alright? So, anyway. That was episode 101. Is I right. The next episode, I believe, is a filler. And also, I think the third official One Piece movie was made after next episode. And I believe that movie is about Chopper. So I will be watching that. I'll be watching that. Uh, with the wife. Alright, I'll be watching that. We, we, uh, we like to watch the One Piece movies whenever I catch up to those certain moments. Um, so we'll, I'll be watching the One Piece movie. 
um probably not after next reaction we'll see though uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know when i watch it you'll uh, i'll talk about it in one of these intros but yeah the one piece movie the third one piece movie i believe comes out after um episode 102 uh, because that is a filler all right anyway that's gonna be it for, for the reaction guys uh if you guys enjoyed it y'all know what to do like comment subscribe algorithm shit all right and of course join the discord if you haven't already if, and if you're not a member if you're not a member of the youtube uh, members get early access to these one piece reactions and i'm like 40 or 50 episodes ahead at this point so if you want to become a member click that join button down below all right and of course if you want to watch the full versions instead you can head over to my patreon which is linked down below in the description you can find the full reactions of all the episodes that i've watched uh so far over there all right so patreon member you'll definitely get your money's worth for, e for either or other than that i'm out of here y'all have a good one thanks for watching i truly appreciate it and i'll see you on the next episode of one piece okay peace